Were you a fan of Westerns before Godless? Absolutely. Yes? Yeah. Very familiar with them? Yeah, I actually had a class in college that was just totally dedicated to Westerns. The whole history of Westerns actually from the 20s up till modern day. I never, really? Uh, I was, so when you got this job, you were like, yes, like I can yeah. like... Yeah, dive back into that. So, what? What um, were you inspired by any westerns? That to you be studied? honest with you, before I actually looked at westerns, I, I actually got my most of my research or beginning of my, my research from actually old western photographers and painters, like uh, a painter Frederick Remington. Uh, I got a lot of the the, the colors and, 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 and color palette from that, and uh, uh, Edward Curtis, um, a lot of his. Um, Photography, I, I, his compositions. I was really struck by um, how hard these, the life was of these people, and um, how they were survivalist. And I really wanted to bring that to to Godless, mm -hmm. and how hard it was to live in the West. And, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It, it uh, after that, obviously, I, I watched a lot of westerns. <laughs> You know, uh, it, it was watch lots of westerns. Mm -hmm. I think in our production office we actually had about a hundred DVDs of just all of westerns. Just westerns going on all the time during our prep, watching over and over. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so, uh, did you was that just like most of your prep watching westerns? Did you have like discussions with Scott about like what he wanted? Like, did he have a vision in mind for the well, show? Well, I mean, he the the show Scott wrote the script back in two thousand two, I think, and it was it was supposed, supposed to be, be a movie, it was yeah. supposed to be a movie. It never got made because at the time studios were into making, making westerns, yeah, making <laughs> westerns. Um, so he he um, stretched it out to which I actually think really worked for the show uh, and actually added a lot of uh, a lot of small pieces and a lot of characters fleshed out a lot of characters that I think was really worth it. The whole character of Mary Agnes was not was a very small character and her fleshing out and her relationship um, with with them. Um, uh, Callie was was not even a part of the first. Uh, oh really? Was, wow. Yeah, the Blackton She's like was, indispensable now. Yeah, yeah, no, the whole Blackton was not even in in the first script. So that whole relationship and Whitey, his whole relationship with uh, Louise was never, never in the original script. Wow. Um. So did you want to add your own twist to the western? When's like you know a modern take for the twenty first? You know what century? Scott's actually was he wanted to take every sort of western theme and cram it all into it and use every use every trope, and embrace it, and really <laughs> like run towards it as opposed to, you know, in, in, instead of uh, trying to make our own, which obviously the amalgamation was a very original thing. Um, no, he was very he he had a researcher that he had. Um, so it was very specific of what he wanted in a very, uh, you know, he, the script did not change once we started. It was really? Not much. Not very, very little, but it was very, uh, mm -hmm. it's very much what he, you know, uh, in his words and his, his vision. Mm -hmm. Um, well, the show was breathtakingly shot like, and you guys used a lot of natural light. So how important was that to shoot with natural light? Well, our, our, our first day of shooting was monsoon season and the beginning of monsoon season in, Perfect in, timing. in uh, yeah. Santa Fe. Yes. So, uh, our key, my key grip said to me, who was local from there said, I, the key to a Western is to embrace the weather. And I think that was, <laughs> you know, that, that's it. Um, we didn't have to, we, uh, I, I wasn't caught into trying to make everything, the continuity as much as shooting the skies and shooting, you know, finding the angles and, and you know, the sky do, does a lot of the work for you. Mm -hmm. um, you guys also use like darkness very well. Cause in the, the first episode, um, in the beginning when Alice shoots Roy, like it's almost pitch black. You almost like can't even see him or her. And was that supposed to like illustrate, you know, like how unknowable the West is, like you just don't know what's in front of you? Yeah, um, it was also very, very specific in the script that you're not seeing their faces. Oh, really? it, they wrote that in there. <laughs> yes, it was written in there, and I actually had to go back to it because we shot it in when well, we were actually doing the the, the the color timing, and, and Scott asking, "Well, can we see a little bit more of Allison's face?" And this kind of like, "Well, we're writing the line." And, <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> so uh, what were the logistical challenges of 
uh, shooting with natural light and, and natural darkness. I, I'm assuming it's just a lot of waiting for the right time. It is, but we did use, we used a lot of movie lights too. It wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, we, we did keep to, to have continuity within the scene. We had to use movie lights and also shooting at night with lanterns and, and candles. We needed a little bit more. I, I would fill in more with light mats and, and still have a, have to amplify the source a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, I also love how even when you're in close up shot of someone, you could still see the landscape in the background behind them. So how did uh, you it, shoot that? It was it was one of our we, we came up with rules and one of our rules was our close ups would be with a 25 millimeter lens. Um, so we could still have a close up and still capture the the, the, the scenery too mm -hmm. to see off that and also keeping a, a 2 4 uh, aspect ratio, which we had to fight for, but Netflix finally let us. They didn't want it? <laughs> no, in fact, we told that we actually tested and told them we were going to be 240, and they forgot, and they actually questioned us a week before we, we shot and wanted us to switch back. But we, oh. held, we held tight. And you stayed strong. Went. How did you convince yeah. them? Uh, they actually came out. Some of the people came out, and we just said we're really, you know, we're really passionate about it. And Scott it's a western. Really you need it's, like it's the, it's the landscape is a character. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, it worked very well because it's like even when like it's people in the foreground, like the landscape just dwarfs them, and it's like you just see how vast. Everything I think it's is. really important for the composition. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's it, it's something to to really stretch the frame and to stretch. You know, it, it, it is about the landscape, and I think. It, I, I felt it was necessary to mm -hmm. keep in that aspect ratio. There were also um, a lot of very like, like beautiful but horrifying shots of like just dead bodies, like carcasses on the ground. But it's like the West is so much about like man and nature. So, how did you go about composing um, a shot of you know like the majestic beauty of Mother Nature in contrast with like the atrocity of man? <laughs> Uh, good question. Uh, I think that's it, it's an organic thing. I think it's a thing that you, if you have beauty, you're going to have the darkness on the other side. I think you can't have one without the other. And I think that that's what you know makes the West, that West, I think, a, a, such a fascinating thing, is because there is such grand beauty, but but there is such horrific things and, and horrific, you know. The, again, it goes back to me about the survivalist aspect and, and how hard it was and people leaving comfort from from where they were to, you know, wanting something else. Mm -hmm. um, less horrifying in the, the final shot of the first episode. It's like horses galloping across a river. It's really beautiful and serene. So uh, was that difficult to shoot? Because you're, now you're dealing with water, horses. <laughs> it was very, yeah, that was one of the things that I actually, one of the, the, the scenes I, I I visualized first getting the script, and not only that, the composer actually came up with the his uh, his music for that that specific moment. So I knew the music, I knew the visual, and it was about you know making sure of finding the location, and I was going to making sure that the you know between eight and nine we could shoot, and getting all the stunt. Some, you had to, some you had to wait horses. between you only had an hour we had an hour and we were like that was our little the, our window of time and um they it was pretty we got pretty lucky mm. yeah. did it require a lot of takes with the horses or no uh two takes two takes two oh takes. that's yeah. not that bad yeah, yeah two takes and i was i mean jeff was pretty amazing um to be able to do that with one one hand one yeah. hand yeah. <laughs> i mean he there were a couple of times he did fall off the horse and he actually did break into the river. He, no, he did not not that time, but he, he during the during the course of the oh, shoot, yeah. um, he fell a couple of times. A lot of people fell. It's it's really dangerous <laughs> riding a horse. <laughs> well, at least he didn't fall into a river then. So it was it, it seemed like even the water was like splashing in all the right places. Like it yeah. Yeah, it, it we, we got we got lucky. I kind of felt like we were doing a Marlboro commercial sometimes a little bit. It did look like that, yeah. Um, well, there's no season two of Godless because it's a limited series, but would you want to do another Western? Um, it was really hard. Uh, Westerns are really hard. And, 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 uh, That's a no. <laughs> I, I, no, it's actually... I. A maybe. Yeah, if the story's right, of course. Yeah. 